A tradition of remembrance continued at the State House today. The annual ceremony of laying a wreath that at the Garden of Heroes took place this morning. It honors those who've died while serving our country. Eyewitness News reporter Abby Burke joins us live in studio now with more on today's ceremony. Abby. For some, this holiday weekend is about picnics and an extra day off, but for others, it's a sharp reminder of the sacrifices thousands of men and women have made for our country. This morning, dozens taking time to remember some of Rhode Island's finest men and women. Today is their day. Today we stand together to honor each and every one of our fallen heroes. Several state officials joined loved ones of Rhode Island's fallen veterans for a wreath laying ceremony at the Rhode Island State House Guarded of Heroes. There are now 29 names on the monument, 29 prom promising lives lost, but not lost in vain. It is our hope that this garden is a fitting tribute. Each name a harsh representation of the steep cost of freedom. We're here because we honor their service and we will never forget and we will always be grateful and you will always have our support. Captain Victoria Tolbert Bravo attended today to remember a friend she served with. They sacrificed their life for our freedoms, for our beliefs and everything that we enjoy as American citizens. And it's important not to take that for granted. She hopes that one day this kind of sacrifice will no longer be necessary. I hope that, you know, my son, my daughter, that they grow up in a world that's peaceful. Today, Governor Romano also reaffirmed her administration's commitment to veterans, saying the state has come a long way over the last year in serving our vets, but admitted there's still a long way to go. I'm Abby Burke, Eyewitness News.